A local high school football team's historic championship run riddled with tragedy as the, as the shooting death of a 17-year-old player is being called senseless tonight. Tavion Cunningham was killed in Euclid this weekend. He played for Glenville State Championship football team, worked a part-time job. We have more questions than answers about what exactly happened. News 5 investigator Tara Morgan has more now on what we've learned. Just days after the death of 17-year-old Tavion Cunningham, Cleveland Councilman Mike Polensic made a point to visit the Ginn Academy and Glenville football coach Ted Ginn Sr. When I walked into the, the school this morning at Ginn Academy, I see all these young men who are trying to succeed. We're trying to get ahead in life. And uh, here we are, we lost another one today for, for no apparent reason. CMSD confirmed the death of one of its students. A statement expressed condolences. It was somber. It was somber, but yet positive because they know what they have to do. They have to continue to help kids. They have to continue to help kids to succeed in life. Cunningham played football for Glenville that just celebrated back-to-back -back championships. The Tar Blooders social media post shared the news about his death pointing to gun violence. According to Ted, uh, who I spoke to last night and then again this morning, um, he was a good student. He was a good kid. Um, he was working at Lincoln Electric. Uh, apartheid. Euclid police haven't released any details to News 5 investigators. Can you send someone over, uh, send a police over here? This guy, I think he got shot. The medical examiner's office says Cunningham died within minutes after he was brought to the hospital from Seabrook Avenue and East 222nd Street Friday night. So now his family is forced to live a life without him uh, to adapt to a new normal. In 2022, Yvonne Pointer, a community activist, spent time with Ginn Academy students. They took a pledge to prevent gun violence. What was your message then? It was the same message that we're saying now. Guns kill, don't use guns. Pointer says you have to continuously preach to put the guns down. Okay. Isn't that easy though? Well, it, we, we might make it more complicated than what it is, because maybe it is just that easy. Coach Ted Ginn spoke with News 5 in 2022 about how more support was needed for young people after another football player was shot and killed near Glenville High School. We have to teach them. I mean, it's the hardest thing to look down on children, young kids that have lost their life from gun violence. Polensic says this level of violence in Cleveland and Cuyahoga County by a small group of young people is unacceptable. We've got to try to collectively figure out, um, especially these young men that are involved in this violence, the perpetrators, you know, what's brought them to this point. I'm News 5 investigator Tara Morgan.